his family by Enes Poole. Before we discuss or review the novel, I would like to give you a brief on the author Enes Poole. Enes Poole was an American journalist, novelist, and playwright. He was born in Chicago in 1880 and he died in the year 1950. He was famous for his reportage on the Russian Revolution. After reading Leo Tolstoy, he was passionate about Russia and he traveled to that country several times to witness the Russian Revolution. He started writing at a very young age, at the age of seven. But later, he delved into music, but he renounced music when he discovered that he could not compose music, so he went back to his love writing. His second novel, His Family, published in 1917, won him the first Pulitzer Prize in 1918. But it was acclaimed that his first novel, The Harbour, was more famous and more prominent than his family. So that is a brief on the author. Now this video contains four sections. First, I'll do a summary of the novel, bringing out the main points of the novel. Then we'll discuss the plot in the novel and then the themes. And then finally, what the novel would mean for a casual reader. First, the summary. The novel is centered around the life of Roger Gale. Roger Gale's business is to help people find newspaper clippings of themselves. At that time, it was a profitable business because so many businesses were into it. But when automation came, that line of business became obsolete. Before his wife died, on her death, death wish, she asked him to promise him something, and that was he would live with his three daughters. Let us quote her and see what she said precisely. And when you come after me, my dear, oh, how hungry I shall be for all you will tell me. For you will live on in our children's lives. And she had asked him to promise her that. When she asked him to give her this pro this promise, she was very ill, chronically ill, and Rujage gave her that promise without meaning to keep it, but that was what he did throughout the story. Rujage is reflected in each of his daughters, and often than not, there is a strain in his ability to accept the reflection his daughter showed to him. He does not believe that he possesses the qualities that his daughters have. His eldest daughter, Edith, has five children and eventually loses her husband from an automobile accident. She gave birth to the fifth child at the same time that the youngest daughter, Laura, marries on the whim of emotions. The second daughter, Deborah, is a school principal for inner city children and is concerned with social reform and women's suffrage. The third daughter, Laura, who will mention married due to emotions, later falls in love with a friend of her husband, an Italian, and she elopes with him, which brings much consternation to Roger Gale. 
In this story, the second daughter Deborah later contracts tuberculosis and the family has to move from New York to the family farm in New Hampshire. Later, they return to New York when Deborah recovers. Edith continues to wonder why Deborah is passionate about helping other people's children when her family is in dire straits. This is because Roger Gale's business is not moving fine. World War II has brought much strain to the business. Clients are not coming. Eventually, Roger finds an employee who revives the business and he makes money once again. Finally, in the story, Roger Gale dies and his three daughters make amends. Now let's discuss the plot in the story. In the plot, we see the modernization of New York City for better or worse through the life of Roger Gale. He has to come to terms with the struggles of his children as they themselves come to terms with the vicissitudes of life in New York. His three daughters represent three separate ways of life. Edith the eldest is homely and maternal. Deborah the second is passionate about social movements, especially women's suffrage. The third Laura is content with living a happy and carefree life. They all represent a certain aspect of Roger Gale, their father. During this time, the fear of technological progress is inherent in New York. The characters also express such fears, especially when Edith's husband dies in an automobile accident. People also hope that faster ways of transporting themselves will be invented since New York is expanding rapidly. These fears bring suspense to the story. But the weakest point of the novel is the plot. The plot rests on the promise that Roger Gale gave to his wife and it runs through the novel. Conflict between his daughters and from his daughters come and go, but Roger Gale remains fixated on his promise. Also, we don't see the third daughter Laura for at least 10 chapters after the tension at the beginning. The second daughter Deborah who is overcommitted to her job at the school, resolves this rather quickly in the story. While reading through the novel, three times I thought the narrator was coming to a resolution only for Roger Gale to recommit himself to his promise. So I concluded that the plot must have been miscalculated by the author. Now what are some of the themes in the novel? I identified two. Let me explain. Before and during World War I, there were several changes happening in the society and the Big Apple or New York was not left out. The novel is also futuristic in undertone. You see that sexual freedom was unknown at that time, but it was touched on in the story, especially by Deborah, the second daughter, who is passionate about social reforms. But women's suffrage was the rage at that point in time in America. It was even predicted in the novel that one day 
due to the fast pace of development and expansion in New York, an air tube transit system would have to be built that would, let me quote it, that would be shooting people home at night at a couple of hundred miles an hour, unquote. Although such a transit system has not been built, but we find similarities in various modes of transportation in our time. We, ha we have fast trains, fast airplanes, and also fast cars. Also, the novel has moralistic tones, and the narrator was trying to decry the socialistic propaganda of his time. Now, what are some meaning a casual reader would derive? New York was undergoing change during the 1900s, and that is what the narrator wants to point out to us. Also, there was generational conflict due to the war and the reforms that the war brought about, which is inherent in this change. Change and the need to embrace change is a constant feature in the novel. There is change in perception, change in technology, and change in relationships. One idea central to the novel is that change is a constant we should all embrace rather than reject. Change is life. Also, when adults reflect on the legacy they are leaving behind for younger generation, they feel some anxiety. They would rather shield the younger generation from the tribulations of the times, which again represents the older generation. Rujage goes through conflicting emotions of joy and sorrow as each daughter opens up their character and plays their part. At this point in time, rapid industrialization is taking place in New York. So the old New York, which the older generation are familiar with, is slowly disappearing. Today also, adults have the same fears and concerns as Roger Gale. They are the dangers of climate change, the fear about the impact of, on our lives of artificial intelligence, the rise of populism fueled by early easy access to social media for propaganda the challenge of immigration as well as political instability from one place to the other. Adults wonder how their children, the younger generation, will fare face with these challenges. Those are the fears Roger Gale, the protagonist in the novel, had, and those are the fears adults have today. So that is His Family by N.S. Poole for you. I hope you did enjoy the review. If you want to read the novel online, you can find a link to the novel in the description below. Also, I will be producing and posting several novels, several videos on prominent novels and interesting novels. Be sure to subscribe to this channel to get the latest videos. Thank you.